Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. Last episode we explored the Sylph Cave, we went to the Fate March, and we defeated the Eidolon King and Queen. Today we're going to go back to the story and we're going to enter the Sylph Cave and get the Final Crystal. So let's get going, shall we? And remember how they told us that uh, Gobez's forces were trying to open up this door with uh, brute force? I don't see Gobez's forces anywhere. Where are these forces that we've been told about? Brandish thou the seal unraveled mark, and a path to the dark crystal shall be open. We gotta use uh, Nuka's necklace, which will open the door for us. And now Gobez could come in and steal the crystal if he wanted. We just opened the door for him, you know. We could just let this door close, he would never get the crystal, and we'd be fine, you know. Oh well, here we go. So yeah, we're in a seal cave. I don't really like it here, mainly because of, well, you'll see in a bit. But yeah, this place is... I don't like it. I really don't like it here. Which you'll see very shortly why I don't. Basically, there's a lot of doors and every door... Well, you'll see here. Every door is not exactly a door. It's really a monster and this is another reason why I want to learn Reflect before I came here. Because, uh... Well, it's gonna do that. It'll target somebody and it'll kill that person. Unless you use Reflect, then it'll kill itself, but, uh, Rose is getting her turn last, so we're not gonna be able to save, uh, Rydia, so we'll have to use, uh, Rose's turn to revive, where's Brace? There it is. To revive the dead. And you wanna kill these doors quickly, because, uh, the longer the battle goes on, they could summon, uh, Chimera Brains after you. And that's not something you wanna deal with, they're not nice monsters. Oh, I didn't get a chance. Nice! Another way you can defeat those things is by uh, using um, the Silver Hourglass or Stopping Time. I forgot to heal Rydia. Well, at least uh, we got Cecil who, we, who will take damage, you know. Alright, Swap Rose. Jump. Uh, attack. Um, you can just attack, I don't really care right now. I just want this to heal us. Mini Rydia. And easy, easily done. Nice. We got an ether in here. Nice. And there's another treasure, treasure chest over there. We're dealing with some bats. They are not nice. I hate these things with every fiber of my being. Every sense of the word hate is the perfect way I describe these guys. Because hate is a strong word, you know. But it really is how I feel about these things. And he's all about to take care of them. Because they're not worth my time. Burn in Hellfire. There we go. Nice. A uh, Kotetsu. That's an edge thing for sure. It's weaker than a Kiku Ichi Manji, so I'm not going to bother putting it on. So we're just going to leave that and we'll press on. What's down here? Is this the way I have to go? I think it is, so I want to go down this way instead. Yep. I don't want to leave things behind, although I really could live out that best three by the way. It's just basically the same as uh, using Libra. Which is basically, you know, scan. And there's nothing here except for a fight another one of these. So every door, except for one I believe, is, uh, well, one of these traps. Uh, you're not gonna hurt Kane. He's jumping into the sky. He'll be fine. Hehe. <laughs> Nicely done! They're not getting a chance to do any summoning, which is very nice. I'm very grateful for that. High Potion, and these are all monsters as well. I knew it. Attack. And they're targeting Edge. And Rydia's, not Rydia, Rosa. I mean, it's going to get her turn last, so... He's as good as dead. Yeah. And this thing doesn't attack, by the way. It just, uh... It's just a bitch doing, uh... Okay, well, now this thing's out, and this thing will attack. And you don't really want to use any omens against it, because it's not nice. And it's gonna do that. And... Let's just use the dragon on it. Jump on it. There we go. We win. And yeah, that's why these things suck. Do I have a stock? Uh, you wouldn't. 
you would if you have it. Yeah, you do. Okay, so we can have really just uh, use stop by There was nothing in there, so that was a waste of my time. Uh, I'm not dealing with the bats. I'll just run away from these guys. Alright. Here we go. Jump. Attack. Attack. Uh, black. Shit. Not, not enough time. I wish I could skip turns. It's really annoying. I remember in this game you could skip turns. But I, for some reason I just can't. And that's one of my biggest gripes with this game. Maybe I just don't remember it correctly, you know? There we go. Healing. Jumping. Hurting. Attacking. It's dead. We did it. Go in here. There's nothing. I wasted my time finding those two trapdoors. Nearly no reward for going through them. Can you stop, please, sucking my blood? I don't. I don't want to fight you guys. Okay, I just want to leave. Okay, thanks. All right, ether. I'll take that. And I want to go down here. I don't know this room. There's a lot of trap doors here. And I'm gonna have to take down every single one of them. Well, I don't have to take down every single one of them, but I'm going to take down every single one of them. Because most of these do have something behind them. And one of them has a save point behind, so that would be nice to find, you know? Uh, I'm going to use uh, the silver hourglass dot time. It will not be able to... It didn't work. Alright, let's try stop. Raise. Come back to us, Edge. I mean, I need to stop these guys. Maybe I'm not remembering correctly. I thought you could stop them. Oh, Shimmer Brain, how I hate you. And Edge is dead. Oh, it is. Okay, well, Edge is not dead then. We win. Nice. There we go. Nothing here, okay. Let's go in here. Another trapdoor. Good. Kane's jumping, he'll be fine. But yeah, you successfully cast Reflect on a person that uh, it targets. Um, it'll just uh, use its ninth dimension to warp itself away. Which can be pretty nice. We did it! And we got Kiraja, the ultimate curing spell. Lustrous Sword. My defender is much better though. So I think I'm going to keep the defender on. Was there anything in this door? No, there wasn't. Why don't I go back and check? I guess to make sure if it was really empty. I'm going to try. Try it. There we go. Now you can see it kill itself. Be ready. Be amazed. I'm not even going to do anything. <laughs> it's going to kill itself. I love it. We win! Nicely done! Fuma Shuriken, Elixir, Box that's just there to be there. And a Light Curtain, which uh, has the same effect as uh, Reflect, by the way. Okay, I'm running away from these guys. It's an ambush. I don't want to do an ambush, especially against Path, because they freaking suck. Quite literally. All they do is suck, you know? Alright, I think it's the door after this one that has a save point, so that'd be nice. Okay, well, we already know saving Riddy is uh, an impossible endeavor. He's dead. I'll try. Yeah, maybe I can do reflecting time. Yeah, I'll do reflecting time. I'm fine. We're gonna be just fine. It's gonna kill itself. I love trapdoors when I have reflect. Always. Empty. Encounters. The uh, bats. I have a no bat policy, so I'm out there. I'm going to peace out. And I believe this one, like I said, I believe this one is the save point. So, let's just uh, take this guy down quickly. Oh, I'm jumping. Y'all be fine. Goodbye. 
Yeah, this one's a save point. Nice. I could use that. Using up my cottage. And we'll save. Nice! And now there's one more trap door for us to go through. Actually, there's two more. There's one more to go through to proceed deeper into this dungeon. What there is this guy to deal with? Oh, well, I don't think I can save Rosa. I'll try. Yeah, I can save Rosa. We'll be fine. I'm moving fast enough to defeat you, you silly door. And they're Mirage. Nice. Ooh, there's chests in here. Black hole and Kotetsu. Stuff for Edge. I don't need a Kotetsu because I already have one. And a black hole. It will help my defense, but it will drop my attack by one. I'll do it. Sure. Like, losing one, like one point of attack power is not going to make too much of a difference. Of course, defense is kind of more important for him because he's getting hit hard, you know? Okay. Okay, we you want to do that? Okay. Ah, too slow. Surprise! It's another camera brain. Phoenix down. Attack it. Summon a dragon, jump, attack. Just don't want to hit any elements, because any elements or attack will heal it. Because that's just what these things do. Although I think I know a dragon is holy elemental. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it is. What am I doing? Magic Rosa. There we go. Go in. Got an ether. Nice. Go in here. There's another trap door to fight. Yay. Although not exactly yay. Kind of like yikes. Alright, targeting, targeting Cecil. That's fine. I might be able to save him. I'm going to try at least. Reflect. Yep, I can save him. Goodbye, trap door. You are your own demise. I love it. Nothing in here. I wasted my time. Good to know. I need to go around. Freaking really. High potion. Phoenix down. Moving on to the next room. And that's the only door by way that's not a trick. Interesting, huh? Oh. I don't want to fight a camera brain. That's, man that's uh, not mandatory. I have an option not to fight it. I'm not going to fight it. Alright, let's go in here. Targeting Rydia again. Silly. You silly. Now you're gonna be your own demise. Yay! I love it. When I get to save my friends. A silent bell. I don't know what silent bell does. I'll, just, I'll take a quick look. Oh, there's silent bell. Same effect as Silence. I'll probably never use it then. Oh. I'm just gonna run away. Bats are not my thing. Uh, that's where I have to go. So I'm not gonna go down there just yet. That's where I came from, so... I guess I will go down here then. And go over here. Another door to break down. The fight. That's okay, I don't mind fighting doors. The doors are my enemies, you know? The greatest enemy is the door. And I reflect on edge. We'll be fine. Hehe. <laughs> I love how trapdoors just do themselves in like that. It's fun. Dry ether. Random encounter. Some more bats. They suck. But I guess I can't run away forever. I'll take them on. I'm just all about them. Don't have to put much effort into it. I'm just let my characters do it themselves, you know? They don't need me. See what I tell you? Took a drink, 
And they took care of the action for me. They didn't need my input. They're pretty smart characters. Yeah, I guess we can do this fight. What's the harm, right? Not really tough monsters. The only enemies really in this place I hate are, well, the bats because, well, you know how bats go, right? They like to do the whole sucky sucky thing and that's never nice. And I don't like the trapdoors either, but when I get to use Reflect, oh, they're not that bad. First few playthroughs of this game, I didn't even know you could uh, use Reflect on uh, your targeted character. I thought you just had to let the character die, you know? But it's nice to know that I can use uh, Reflect, you know, and let them uh, take themselves out. Doesn't mean I like the place any different. I still hate it with all my being. Oh, Cecil finally reached level 40. Nice! We're now way back when he started at level 1. Yeah, we come a long way. Oh, well, that, that was a waste of time. Why did they put that rope there if you can't even go down it? Makes you wonder. And we're at the end of this cave, by the way. One more sealed door. Jump, uh, I'm not gonna be able to save Rosa, I don't think. I don't know if it'll be possible. I'll try, I guess. Wait! I can't save Rosa! I had doubts, but it's possible. Bye bye, trapdoor! Edge levels up. Now we can take the crystal and be done this place. We got the duck crystal! Now, when you're done a dungeon, you do have to walk through it, but for this dungeon, you try to use an emergency exit, oh, you can't do that. Or use a uh, warp. Why is that, you wonder? Or teleport, I mean, but warp. So yeah, as you can see, you can't warp out this dungeon. You're probably wondering why. Well, that's because uh, there's a boss fight here, and something interesting also will happen when you leave this place, which is why they don't want you to just, uh, you know, warp out of here. The walls! They're moving! Removing the crystal must have triggered it. So much for a smooth exit. Yeah, I know, I just want to warp out of here. But yeah, we're finding the demon wand. One thing you want to do against this thing is you want to slow it down. You want to slow it down because it moves and it moves fast and if it gets too close to you, it just instant kills you. So yeah, you want to slow it down. It will still approach you, but once you use slow on it, it should be fine. Uh, let's use the Leviathan. I don't know if uh, doing slow on it an um, extra time uh, slows it down like, even more. I'll try. I like how it's using Stone Touch isn't even working, and I don't know why it's not working. It might be the diamond equipment I have on, because I don't have ribbons yet. This thing's honestly not that bad. Just use slow on it, and you'll be fine. And if you don't use uh, slow on it, th this will get too close to you, and it will kill you, because it moves fast unless you use slow on it. Because I think you notice it's moving kind of slower ever since I, you know, slowed it down. And let's get Leviathan back out. And attack, and attack. We'll be fine. Just gotta destroy a wall, you know. And it's done. See, Team Wall is not that bad. As long as you use slow on it, like you use a spider silk or you use a spell slow, it doesn't matter which one you use. Just wanna slow it down. Now, after this battle, yeah, nothing to it. Uh, you still wanna warp out? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. You still have to go through this dungeon the whole way. So, I'm gonna run through this and I'll be back with you guys once uh, we get to the exit. Because uh, once we get to the exit, something's gonna happen. So, I'll see you guys then when that happens, alright? Oh, here we go! What? What's happening? Kane, you belong to me, Kane. Bring me the crystal. Go, Bess! Kane, get a hold yourself! I'm... alright. I'm no longer under his control. Are, are you sure? What do you call this then? Ah! Lost the dark crystal. God damn it. 
We don't even get to enjoy having a crystal. What? Cain! Now I can restore the Tower of Babel. At last I shall reach the moon. Cain, wake up! Please, Cain! With all the crystals in hand, the way to the moon will open. Stop! Ah, well, we lost Cain again. <laughs> Damn! And that's why the game didn't want us to work all this dungeon. I think now we could work out if we... No, we still can't. Okay. But yeah, that's why they didn't want you working out so that you can't skip that. But yeah, we lost Kane again and we lost the crystal. So that's... That's not a good sign, is it? You know, I think that crystal would have been perfectly safe if we didn't pursue it, you know, and just left it alone in there. Just saying. Without Luca's necklace, they wouldn't be able to get in, you know. Well, we better go let the dwarves know what happened. I really hate being the one to deliver bad news, but that's pretty much all we've been doing in, well, the underworld and the overworld is delivering bad news. Like, uh, we've been unsuccessful with, well, basically everything. We're kind of wishy-washy heroes, if you ask me. We haven't been able to save anything. You have returned. Where is the crystal? Um, about the crystal. King Giot. He did not succeed in retrieving it. So now they hold all the crystals. There's nothing more we can do. That is. Unless the legend of the Lunar Whale is true. The Lunar Whale? A huge ship spoken of in legend. One born of a dragon. <gasps> Remember those words? The Mycidian legend. You know of Mycidia? It is the home of the mages of the overworld. Mycidia truly exists? Yes, I met the Elder of Mycidia, who prays tirelessly on a tower. He prays, you say. Hmm? Perhaps he prays for the Lunar Whale. You must hurry to Mycidia. But the exit is sealed. We can't get near the Tower of Babel either. Yeah, we're kind of trapped down here. Then dig your way out. Huh? It's Sid! Sid! I'll attach a drill to the Falcon's bow. Shouldn't you be in bed? Nah, no worries. Can you really do it though? Easier than falling off a bike. Okay, let's get to work. Ah, uh, good old Sid. Nothing is too much for him. Like he says, there's nothing he can't do. He's working hard on attaching a drill to the ship. I always get amused with all of these. I, I don't know why, just like seeing the people twirl around and do stuff, you know. Oh, there's not really a whole lot of twirling going on. And I guess, uh... I guess Edge is flirting with the ladies while everyone else is working. Seriously though, Edge, back off from Rosa. She's taken. And now having a bit of an argument with Sid there. <laughs> You're not going to win a throwing contest with an old man. Just saying. <laughs> Ooh, the battle got intense. See, Dick, told you you wouldn't be able to beat Sid. He's too good. I guess he's, now he's letting Sessa know that, uh, Ed has been hitting on your, on your lady. I think, uh, Sid died. Sid! Oh dear. Sid! You've overworked yourself yet again! Yeah, of course he did. I guess I need to step all the action for a while. Other than messing with airships, I'm not much use anymore. My hat's off to you, old man. You're really something, you know that? Get well, okay? Look after Cecil and Rosa. Don't worry, just get some rest. Take care of yourselves, you hear me? You too. Ah, uh, alright, well, get out of here! Thank you for everything, Sid. We honestly couldn't have done it without you, man. Who else would attach a drill to our ship? 
<laughs> alright, you, you get some rest. We're gonna go save the world, alright? So now with uh, that, we can go back to the overworld. There's actually a lot I can do in the overworld. So we can drill our way out of here the same way we got here in the first place. And that's just going up here. So yeah, we're opening up the, the hole that uh, Sid sealed up when he blew himself up. And now we can return to the underworld anytime we want the same way we got in. So we can just enter and leave anytime we want. There's actually a lot we can do in the overworld now, so... Um... So next episode's gonna be a bit of a busy one! That, anyways, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you everybody for joining me and coming back to Final Fantasy IV. Hope you guys are enjoying this, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.